Yeah. Here we are back in Eugene. Yep. Not that this would really show you anything. Yeah, that was Eugene. <laughs> yeah, wow. Um, but we're back in Eugene and we're here for a very special reason. Yeah. Um, about 10 years ago, a little bit over, we uh, along, well, Andy didn't bury anything, but yeah. I did with some of my friends. Um, we buried a time capsule and today we are going to dig it up. Yep. Woo! So come along. Yeah. Just reminiscing about some amazing photos. I mean, I know a lot of people who have. My mom talks about Our first photo together. Your world! But my world is circular. Oh. I'm gonna let Bridie dig. Yeah, Bridie, use the manual labor. end up with a really big hole before yeah. we find it. <laughs> <laughs> it's really just an April Fool's. There's not really anything yeah. down yeah. here. No Nobody you. remembers <laughs> this. <laughs> There's an intense debate right now about where the exact thing is. Crime scene investigation here. We're trying to figure out where it's buried. <sighs> it could be in the violin. I think it was. <laughs> I think we found it, or it's something else. It kind of looks like a dog bowl. <laughs> Someone just buried a cookie tin. <laughs> You can still read for a little bit. <laughs> oh man, what is in there? What is that? <laughs> oh my gosh! And a glass. Hey. glass. Hey. Oh my gosh, I hope there's an explanation of that. <laughs> <laughs> it's even recent that the water yeah, it does. Yeah, it's staples. It's Otherwise, they can disintegrate. Yeah. Uh, oh really? Oh, that's right. He's a water fiber expert. Oh, well, why don't we have Tom dealing with it? <laughs> These are our crucial He's artifacts here. <laughs> How would you handle it? You would put it in a freezer. Oh, there's another CD. <laughs> no way! Betsy, because it's super cool, <laughs> underground rapper in London where she... <laughs> oh yeah, you did like a whole book. What thing. did I do? Yeah, now I kind of vaguely remember this. I don't remember this at all. <laughs> You did like I think your life like ten years later and like oh made like God. a little booklet thing. No, nope. Mark. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna get a ride over here. Now, so I'll be there shortly. Mathematician okay. and and something Maria decide they. Matt Fork. Oh, she's very late. She becomes a writer. In 2013, she wins the Nobel Peace Prize for Literature. She. Wow. I wrote one for you. In oh, Mark. She... <laughs> Katie and. Oh my god, you did such a beautiful thing. What did I. Oh my god! What? Tim Hopkins freak accident. Bird accident. <laughs> 
Oh man. <laughs> Oh, oh poor, poor, poor Tim. Alas, gets attacked by birds. <laughs> Sigh. Right after, oh, right after leaving for college, he does swimming. Sur survive. He does survive, but his <laughs> love swim. for our feathered friends does not. He ends up becoming the very pure bird, bird hunter. hunter in the world. Yeah. No, no. the only pure. Yeah, it's amazing how many famous people we... I know. Out. What are you? Betsy becomes a super underground rapper in London where she... <laughs> super underground. <laughs> yeah. That's come true. Where she... Something Cillian Murphy and... Cillian Murphy. Whatever. <laughs> He's my husband. I should know how to pronounce his name. It's true, it's true. She... Like a there you go. And majors in history at Oxford. She doesn't become rich, but she ended with enough at retirement to travel the world with all of her cats and clothes. <laughs> nice. Okay, the real question is who put this in the time capsule? If you remember, please comment. We also have a CD that Caitlin put in that has all of the bands we listened to senior year yep. we were just too cool and someone's planner Katie. oh katie's planner yeah. all right we unearthed the time capsule yep. what'd you think i thought it was it was funny to see you guys struggle with where it is and also <laughs> how deep it was and everything but I, was, I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah, it was fun. I loved reliving that. It was a great time. <laughs>